Hello and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at more world coins that have been kindly sent into my PA box. A massive thank you to everyone that has kindly sent uh, coins in. I, I'm going through them in my you, what, my world coin hunts, uh, having a bit of an exploration, finding out more about the coins and showing you guys uh, some information about them. And I hope you've been enjoying it. The, the, there seems to be a lot of positivity towards it, so I'm very grateful for that. First off though, we'll have a look at the front page of my new mister. Now new mister is a free website that I use to log my coin collection on. I highly recommend it. I think it's fantastic site uh, there's so much information and it's really neat seeing that heat map of the world to see where all your coins are from we'll revisit this screenshot at the end of the video uh, to see how this video has affected my collection uh, also i'm not sponsored by new mister i don't get uh, any incentive to send you over there i just think it's an invaluable tool but without further ado let's look at some coins so these first coins come from evan kennedy we've got oh. Oh, um, oh, Morocco or Tunisia? I think it's Moroccan. I like this sort of circular pattern around this. It's bimetallic. That's really cool as well. Five, mm, Morocco. Is that oh, Dira Modina? I can't recall, but that's a nice coin, isn't it? There's a little Irish, 1998. Oh, five pence with this bull on it. Very cool. Is that supposed to be on the coin, that little dink? Is that part of the design or is that a dink that someone's put on it? It's neat though. We've got 10 Rappen. Swiss, 1983. That's pretty neat. There's a whole massive date run for a load of those Swiss coins that's kind of interesting. A Gibraltarian 20 pence from 2001. Look at that. Our Lady of Europa. That's very cool. I do like territory coins. I think they're very, very cool. Is this some sort of like a, a queen and a baby on honey? Very cool. And then we have... Magyar. Oh, so this is Hungarian. Ooh, a bimetallic Hungarian one with this cool bridge design. 200 foreign. Wowee. Well, that's a beautiful coin, isn't it? Not a coin that I recognise. Oh, it's 2009. I don't think I've ever had one of these before. They're very, very cool. Well, thank you for them. Next up from Ways to Collect, we have got uh, two shillings from 1961. What way around does it go? Like that maybe? Oh no, not quite. Two shillings. Very cool. And um, there was a video that I watched of Laughters, my fellow coin tuber and good friend, who pointed out you've got the rose in the middle for England, the thistle for Scotland, shamrock for Northern Ireland, and the little leek for um, Wales. We've also got an English shilling. It's got the three lines on it, denoting the fact that that is English. 1957. Another English shilling from 1955. We've then got, oh, this is South African, 1993. One rand, an interesting shape, isn't it? Is it circular? I think it is circular, it's just this border makes it look an odd shape. One round with what looks like some sort of gazelle, antelope. It's probably some specific <laughs> type of uh, animal that I don't know and can't recognise. But that's a cool coin. I like animals on coins. And then also another two shillings. This is from 1967. I've got it wrong again. Very cool. Jamie sent in a hundred RP rupee, rupee from Indonesia, nineteen ninety eight. I think that is rupee then. It's a cool design. What is it? Are they herding cows? Racing cows? Riding cows? I can't tell. And again, we've got an interesting circular, 
a circular coin with an interesting <laughs> border, which um, camouflages the shape somewhat. Very cool, I like it. And then we have this bimetallic Polish coin, 2017. Again, bimetallic Polish coin. Look at that. What a design. Two zloty. Got this little two here and the big two it's actually forming a part of. Wow, that is beautiful, isn't it? A very cool design. Again, a simple design, but very effective. I like that. I'm going to butcher this name. Zegan Xerxes, maybe? Sent in this. Franz Kafka. 1883 to 1924. Bundesrepublik Deutschland. So Bundesrepublik was West Germany, I believe? Is it? I might be wrong. I think it is. I think West Germany was Bundesrepublik. 10 euro, 20, 2008. Oh, 2008. So this is just Germany then. Not West or East Germany. We've got a mint mark. Oh, look there, G. There's loads of different German mint marks. There's all five, I think, off the top. Oh, offhand, I can't recall. Well, that's a beautiful coin, isn't it? It's got an edge inscription as well. Which is hard to see through the case, but a lovely, lovely coin. I wonder... This must be an author, mustn't it? With all this writing around his portrait. Lovely. Fiona Fraser, or Fraser, I apologise if I'm mispronouncing it, sends it, sent in a penny from 1966. An Irish, 1975. Ten pence. I can never remember what year it goes from Pennig. Uh, pen, Pennig? Or Pennier. Pennig? Oh, I don't know. Now I'm now I'm to doubt myself. Pingin. Pennig. What am I on about? That's German again. Pingin. Pingin or Penny? I think it's Penny. Uh, a Spanish five pesetas with Juan Carlos I. 1975 on the obverse. The reverse, you can see a little star there that's got the actual year of mintage. An interesting sort of rainbow sort of toning. On this corner of the coin, that is very cool. I like that. We have a Scottish shilling from 1956. You can see the rampant lion there rather than the three lions. It's a nice one. We've got a Scottish Commonwealth Games commemorative two pound, the single metal two pound coin, 1986. These single metal two pound coins are beauties. Um, it's got an edge inscription XIII 13th Commonwealth Games Scotland 1986 very cool lovely coin we've got a bit of an old grubby French mm, Etat Francais Que. Okay. Two francs, 1943. Some of these have mint marks. I think it's like a B or something, if memory serves. I don't know if it's on this side or this side. Research in the editing required. We then also have this, another French. 20 centimes. Centimes or centimes? Centimes, 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 centimes. Who knows? <laughs> I've been saying centimes all this time, I'm going to stick with centimes. Very cool. An interesting metal, is it maybe zinc or something, I don't know. Maybe an aluminium that has corroded, potentially. Zach Hannibal sent in this jersey, 1935. What is it? One twelfth of a shilling. Wowie. We have got George V. Rex, Indian Emperor. I think it, I think I N D I M P is Emperor of India, is it not? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's known to happen fairly often. That's a lovely design, isn't it? 1935. Holy Toledo. Uh, a penny from 1967. Again, kind of cool toning on that one, isn't there? A lot of design detail. 
Lovely. Uh, a 1967 penny, again. I can never remember what years it's got the different mint marks on the pennies. And then, Holy Toledo, is this a cartwheel penny? I can never recall. But, oh, can we get a year off that? Good golly. Uh, well, there's a portrait of somebody. This is a right old lump of metal, isn't it? I see an O and I see a 7. Or is that an 8 or a 6? I'll have to do my due diligence on you, Mister, and try and ascertain that. Don't know. I don't know how close I'm going to be able to get uh, to the year on that, but it's a beautiful design. It's so thick as well, this coin. Imagine having these in your pocket. I wonder what the, the modern day equivalent sort of uh, adjusting for inflation would be for this coin. Would this be like walking around with a hundred pound in your pockets? I don't know. What could you buy with one of these back then? That you, you What would it cost nowadays? Could you buy a house with the equivalent of one of these? I don't know. Beautiful stuff though. Detecting daily sent in. Oh, this coin's seen better days, hasn't it? <laughs> I think this is, if I recall, from someone who metal detect, me, de, metal detect, is that how you say it? Um, and this might be in a find. Uh, the year, hmm, is hard to ascertain. I need a bit of closer inspection on that to figure that one out, but that is awesome. We've got another two shillings, 1966 on this one. There we go, we got it. <laughs> Perfect rotation. We have got an English shilling from 1963. And also, ooh, 1948, one shilling. Oh, it's got to be Scottish, hasn't it? We've got the thistle, this sort of cross, and this lion here. George VI, my favourite portrait of a monarch on UK coins. That's beautiful. Gary Farr sent in a WWF 50p. It's a popular coin, it's a beautiful design, but it does have the obverse of a Kew Garden, so it's always exciting finding one of these in a hunt. It's a beauty, though, so thank you for that. We also have an Olympic equestrian. From 2011, the Olympic set. It's a desirable set. Amazing stuff. We're going to wrap up with one more coin that came in from Lord Godby. Uh, we've got a, an aluminium French five francs from 1945. Very cool. It's a big old coin. It's a thick coin as well. It's got some depth to it. It's very, very nice. Well, I guess what's all that's left to do, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> take two. Uh, all that's left to do is have a look at my new Mr. Front page to see how this video has affected my collection. And there we go, a whole host of awesome, awesome coins. So again, a massive thank you to you all that sent these coins in. It's been, it's been so much fun uh, doing these hunts through coins sent to the peer box. I do have a box of uh, coins that I bought ready to start again on my world coin hunt when the last bag ran out. Uh, but you guys have been keeping me really, really busy having a look through these awesome stuff. So again, a massive thank you to you all for that. We're getting such an interesting variety of different coins um, from across the world, coins that we don't see in those boxes of coins or bags of coins that I buy randomly from eBay. Uh, but as ever, all that leaves me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye!